basic instructions on how to use set 7 toolkit so the first thing that we'll talk about is the torque levels so as you can see here one two three four these are the torque levels this gray part here is the dial so you rotate it in the clockwise direction to decide the torque level right now it's at torque level one this is torque level two this is torque level three so the torque the amount of torque that you apply on a screw would increase in this direction so one is lesser torque and four is maximum torque that you can apply on a screw so this torque has to be pre-calibrated pre-decided by you by the user before using the torque limiting screwdriver to tighten a screw according to your requirements so let's say we want to operate at torque level three so now we free calibrated torque it at torque level 3. There are two ways to hold torque it while using it, while tightening the screw. One is this standard way of holding it. You will hold the torque it like this when tightening smaller screws where the amount of torque to be applied is small. The other way to hold it is like this. This is a way when you will try to open or uh, open or tighten larger screws this way you can apply more torque so let's try and first tighten first remove a screw and then tighten a screw on this toy so this is the chuck which is magnetic this is where the bit goes uh, let's try and open this screw here so i'm opening it in the standard way holding the screwdriver in the standard way as you can see the screw is out the chuck is magnetic which makes the bit also magnetic now let's try and tighten this now i want to apply more torque here so i will hold the screwdriver in the second way now as soon as you hear this click sound this means that the torque level 3 which we had pre-calibrated is reached so this screw will not be tightened more than this level it has reached torque level 3 now this screw will not get tightened more than this so this is how we decide which torque level we want to tighten the screw at another important instruction is that while using torque it you should not be holding the dial so when i'm tightening the screw i should i am i am at no point holding the dial to tighten the screw because this dial uh, controls the amount of torque that we're applying on the screw and if during operation this dial rotates this defeats the purpose and basically the preset torque will be changed so you either hold it like this or like this but at no point will you hold the dial this swivel cap which is basically free will make sure that the dial does not rotate at any point of operation if you're not touching the dial so you should not be touching the dial the second thing is that you should not open the cap beyond this level the level just close to level one because when you do that this is basically to open the torque it and fix anything or do some repairs or uh, just to see how it works from inside but actually you don't need to open the cap beyond this point so you should always uh, you should always keep the cap tightened at this level it should never be opened beyond this point it will always remain within this range during operation so these were the basic instructions thank you